Okay, hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathlog here, and this uh, lesson is on degrees. This is the lesson uh, 11.2, and don't forget your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. So there's our common core strand, and our essential question is how are degrees and fractional parts of a circle related? So we'll go back to what we know about angles and and about circles and, and put them all together. So remember a right angle forms a, a nice right angle. It's like a, a floor right here and a wall. A floor and a wall typically make what's called a right angle right there. And this little box right here represents a right angle right here. Okay, do you guys remember about straight angles? We did this in chapter 10. I think it was the first lesson of chapter 10. So a straight angle forms a straight line. So there's a straight angle right there, okay? And then we had uh, an acute angle. An acute angle is closed up less than a right angle, okay? And um, it's definitely open more than zero. So, um, so there's an acute angle right there. We'll talk about that zero in just a second. An obtuse angle is an angle that's greater than a right angle, and it's less than a straight angle. So here's the right angle that would go up straight right here, and so it's definitely open more than a right angle, so it's greater. And it's not open quite as much as the straight angle right there. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead um, and try and connect this here so we can use what we know about angles and fractional parts of a circle to understand angle measurements. Okay, so... Angles are measured in what we call degrees, okay, and you think of a whole circle, a circle that's divided into 360 equal parts. An angle that turns just one of those 360ths of the circle is, is called one degree, so it has a, de a measurement of one degree. Okay, and so the, the the symbol for degrees is this little looks like a little zero up to up next to the right of this. So this right here says 90 degrees right there. Okay, so that's what that says is 90 degrees, and that's our symbol. Okay, and so here's a one degree right here. So this is a one degree, and it looks like these guys are connected right here, but you can see out here they're not, and so it just gets you know it's a very small measurement right there. So there's 360 of these in this entire circle right. Right here okay if I started right here and went all the way around that would be 360 degrees right here okay 360 degrees makes an entire circle right there so an angle between here's a problem an angle between two spokes on a bicycle wheel turns through 10 360 of a circle so what is the measure of the angle between the spokes okay well this is pretty easy you guys so Here's a question. So what part of the angle does the spokes represent? Okay, so here's a, a bicycle tire right here. So it's asking this right here. What part of the angle do these spokes represent? Well, they just make the sides of the angle right here. So uh, they are called the rays that form the sides of the angle. Remember that from the last chapter, the rays? Okay, so use fractional parts to write the angle in the measurement. So 10 out of 360. So remember, 1 out of 360 turn, uh, turn measures uh, 1 degree from a circle. We just talked about that. So 10 of them is going to turn 10 of uh, the degrees. Okay, so the measure between the spokes, uh, uh, between the angles, between two spokes is 10 out of 360. So it's going to be 10 degrees right there. Okay. So it's, notice I have a little degree symbol right next to that 10. This says 10 degrees right there. So if it's uh, 10 over 360, it's going to be this top number in degrees right there, as long as it's over 360. So how many degrees is the measurement of an angle that turns the entire circle? Okay, remember the entire circle is uh, all the way around. It's 360 degrees. So one of them is 1 360ths, and so the whole circle is going to be 360 over 360, which is just 360 degrees. Okay, find the measure of a right angle. Okay, remember a right angle? It makes that little right angle symbol right there, and it's kind of like the floor in your classroom and the, and the wall. Okay, a floor in the wall makes a nice right angle right there. Okay, well, if we divide that circle up, so think what fractional part of a circle does that right angle make? Okay, well, look, it makes, uh, it, if, it makes four equal parts right here, so it's going to make one-fourth of the circle right here. So find the measurement of the right angle. Okay, so one-fourth, we're going to write it as an equivalent fraction with 360 in the denominator. So one-fourth equals what number over 360? All right, well, think of this, you guys. Four times nine equals 36. So since this is 36 with a zero, then four times this is going to be 90 is going to equal 360. So we'll just put 90 up there. Okay, and then we'll just... Um, uh, remember when you um, uh, write equivalent fractions, we got to multiply both the top and bottom by the same number. So if we multiplied 4 times 90, 
to get 360, then we multiply 1 times 90 also to get 360. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer this question. So, uh, so uh, we're going to write 90 over 360 in degrees. Well, most of you guys probably know that already, but let's go ahead and go through these questions. An angle that turns 1 360th of a circle still measures 1 degree. So an angle that turns 90 over 360 is 90 degrees. So a right angle measures 90 degrees. Okay. All right, so right angles are nice 90 degrees. Find the measurement of a straight angle. Remember, a straight angle uh, comes from two rays that form a straight line. So through what fraction of a circle does a straight angle turn? Well, look at this picture right here. Here's a straight angle that goes right through the diameter of a circle. Okay, it goes right through the middle of the circle right here. So this is half the circle right there. So uh, we're going to write one half as an equivalent fraction with 360 in the denominator. And remember when we did the one fourth? Okay, well, two times 18 is 36. So since 36 uh, is um, this is 36 with a zero, then I'm going to put in zero with this 18. So two times 180 will equal 360. So that's what goes there. So a straight angle measures 180 degrees. Okay, how can we describe the measure of an acute angle in degrees? And how can we describe the measure of an obtuse angle in degrees? Well, remember, back from chapter 10, Here's an acute angle right here. An acute angle is less than a right angle. And since we know a right angle is 90 degrees and a straight angle is 180, we can, or, I'm sorry, um, uh, and it's more than a, a zero, we can say a, an acute angle has measure less than 90 degrees. Um, so it's less than 90 degrees and greater than zero. And an obtuse angle is a measure that has greater than 90 and less than 180. Okay, you guys, take care. Hope that made sense.